Good morning, I'm Neva Redimanu, and this is your morning news fix for Wednesday, 27th of November. In this update, strong expectations the Reserve Bank will double cut the official cash rate today. Economists and financial markets anticipate the OCR will be lowered by 50 basis points from 4.75 to 4.25. It was cut by the same number last month, with the central bank confident inflation's back within its 1 to 3 percent target range. The decision's due at 2 p.m. Israeli's militaries launched multiple strikes towards a densely populated area of the Lebanese capital Beirut as ceasefire deal talks continue. CNN reports Israel's security cabinet meeting to vote on a pause in hostilities with Hezbollah is underway. They will decide on the proposal with the Iran-backed militant group in the coming hours. That includes a 60-day pause in fighting, which is hoped could be the base for a lasting ceasefire. Meanwhile, four bodies have been recovered from a tourist boat which capsized off Egypt's Red Sea coast. The boat, the Sea Story, capsized on Monday while carrying 31 tourists and 13 crew on a multi-day diving trip. The search continues for nine people. The mental health of New Zealand workers has reached one of its lowest levels in recent years. New research from international wellbeing company Talus Health shows average worker mental health scores dropped one point from April to 59.7 out of 100. It reveals 40% of workers face high mental health risks, with a greater presence of depression and anxiety. Talus Health New Zealand General Manager Julie Cressy says a feeling of isolation is also becoming more common. They don't necessarily feel that they can confide in either their peers or their managers, so they do feel quite isolated by actually what's going on around them. A view Health New Zealand's push for 50 new senior doctors isn't going to even scratch the surface of healthcare shortages. The government's announced $20 million to hire the doctors and $10 million for senior specialist nurses and allied health professionals. Association of Salaried Medical Specialists Executive Director Sarah Dalton says they've done nothing tangible to address the 2023 workforce plan, which identified a shortage of 1,700 doctors. She says more doctors are currently at risk of leaving because of the terms and conditions they're being offered. A record art sale for New Zealand last night, with a Charles Frederick Goldie painting selling for $3.7 million in an Auckland auction. The New Zealand artist created Thoughts of a Tohunga in 1838, depicting Whare Kauri Tahuna, a chief of the Tuhoi tribe. International Arts Centre Director Richard Thompson says even before the auction began, there was significant interest in the painting. It goes without saying that Māori portraiture is highly sought after and the best part about it is that they're staying in New Zealand because they can't be exported. And in sport, the Black Caps are readying themselves for an up-tempo, demanding test series as they count down to the first fixture against England and Christchurch starting tomorrow. Ben Hunt is heading home to Brisbane after inking a two-year NRL deal with the club he's spent most of his career. The Irish rugby team will be without Jacob Stockdale, Taj Furlong, Ryan Beard and Jamie Osborne for Sunday's final Autumn International against the Wallabies through injury. Two Australian NBL fans have been banned for their roles in an ugly brawl during the Melbourne United Adelaide 36ers round nine game earlier this month. I'm Neva Reti Manu, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.